Welcome back to the channel folks. This is Jason, Certified Financial Planner and host of Fighting Words Financial. Today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Nano Dimensions. Nano Dimensions is a stock that uh, I am invested in folks. I do need to disclose that. I have about a thousand shares in there. Um, it happened kind of by accident though. I bought it like around 350 a share kind of on a whim. So I wouldn't say that I'm fully committed to this stock. You guys do know that I'm not a short-term trader though. So when I buy something, I generally don't have a window for selling it. I keep it forever unless it becomes so large a portion of my portfolio that it's like a double digit portion of my net worth. And then I might trim that position a bit just to reduce my risk. Anyway, so I do own Nano Dimensions. I'm not completely unbiased here, but let's talk about Nano Dimensions. There isn't a ton of really good information out there on this company, kind of what their financial position is, what their overall strategy is for the company or the breadth of their offerings. There really isn't a lot of great information out there. Most of what you see on YouTube is hype and people trying to pump up the stock or people who are trading on a short-term basis without really understanding what the company is doing. So recently I made a post on my YouTube channel uh, about saying the stock was gonna get hammered because there was a direct offering of stock offered at $5 a share, over a million shares, um, or, or 11 million shares or something like that, almost 12 million shares. So basically $60 million direct offering of stock at $5 a share, which was like 17% under market value at the time. And the market didn't even blink, right? The stock went down briefly and then boom, back up to where it was. So they're basically giving stock away to someone at 17% under market value and the market really isn't blinking. Um, so it just tells me that there's a lot of interest in this company um, that, and, and folks maybe don't really understand what's going on. They're just trading it to make a short-term profit. So this is not necessarily all bad news for Nano Dimensions. Uh, I've been following this company for a while, even though I don't own that much of their stock. And I've been following 3D printing for a very long time. The amount of money that they've raised in the short term here is about $210 million in total. It may herald an acquisition of some sort. Um, this is based on speculation, a lot of speculation, a lot of videos that I watched, a lot of things that I read, and not a lot in the way of facts. Uh, there's been a couple of SEC filings recently that suggest to me that they might be looking for an acquisition, uh, but nothing really concrete. But anyway, folks, I've actually been involved in investing in 3D companies for quite some time. Really, since the first of them went public, uh, you know, I, I think 12, 15 years ago, uh, I was an early enough investor to lose a lot of money investing in 3D stocks. In fact, you know, I, I was an early investor in, uh, you know, the 3D systems, the, the symbol DDD in Stratsys. And a long, long time ago, and I'm going to put the graphic up here, I'm going to edit this in afterwards, when 3D systems briefly hit about $93 a share, it hit its peak, and then it dropped like a rock, that purchase somewhere north of $93 a share on this chart, you look at that little point there, there's a good chance that that person who made that purchase is actually me. And uh, I held on to it and held on to it and eventually slunk away with my tail between my legs when the stock hit about 30 and took a giant loss on that. And uh, that was the first big loss I took in 3D printing, but it wasn't the only one. And a lot of it was is just, just investing in that time period was a little bit too early on that technology adoption curve. I was very, very excited about the technology. I'm still extremely excited about the possibilities for 3D printing. On-demand printing and prototyping of electronics was and probably still is the holy grail of 3D printing. You know, this is what we, we always wanted to have was a sort of on-demand development of chips, you know, of, of chip design and circuit design. But, you know, there were a couple of other things that actually happened first that were unbelievable. Like I went to a restaurant in Paris years ago where there was a chef that was 3D printing crystal lattice structures and selling them for like 100 euros a pop or something. It was absolutely ridiculous. Beautiful works of art and, uh, and they were charging a lot of money, but it didn't seem to have any of the real sort of like sci-fi applications that I wanted to see. That didn't take long, though. Sci-fi applications that didn't seem real at first, like human tissues being printed, Organovo was one of these companies that did this. Even that so far has not turned out to be uh, commercially successful. They've never really made a profit. They've had to do a reverse split in order to keep their stock price high enough to stay on the NASDAQ. And Nano Dimensions has done this a couple of times also. The last reverse split was actually a one for 50 split in June of this year. Um, so everything changed for Nano Dimensions last year though, when they were granted a patent for a dielectric ink 
Uh, and this happens, I think, in, in September, October of 2019. This is one of two inks that's used to print uh, electronics, you know, to, to print out chips and print out circuit boards. People started to pay attention at this point. Um, its 3D printer is being used to print electronics, and this patent was granted by the U.S. Patent Office and Trademark Office and the Korean Intellectual, Intellectual Property Office. Uh, despite all of that, and they, they sold like 50 printers right away, despite all that, recent performance financially for this company has not been good, not at all. Sales are down at least 80% uh, this year, and due to mostly to the coronavirus. But I will say one thing, the company really prepared for this. As soon as this started happening, they jumped on this uh, crisis early. They shut down a lot of the marketing and sales efforts, thinking that they're going to be counterproductive while all this is going on. And they assumed that the business environment was going to be impacted through quarter two of 2021, which I think was a wise assumption. They immediately set out raising cash also for purposes we don't really know yet through direct offerings, to, and they did this, and it shored up their balance sheet, and they do not appear to be in any financial trouble. In fact, they appear to be in a position to purchase any one of a number of rivals in their industry, and that's gonna allow them to expand their portfolio of technologies and their product offerings. So what is Nano Dimension really known for, and why are folks like ARK Invest so interested? To be fair, most of what you find, if you go out and look on YouTube, or you go out and look, if you go out and look on the internet, most of what you find is actually filings and press releases by the company itself. If you go on YouTube, it's about hype and charts and what is the price going to, you know, is it gonna 10X or whatever. If you notice, I never tell you guys, hey, the price is gonna go to here or it's gonna 10X or it's gonna whatever. I never say any of that stuff because to, nobody really knows, no one's got a crystal ball. And you know, the history of pundits is the history of most pundits being wrong about most things most of the time. And even myself, you shouldn't take anything I say as, as, as the gospel truth because it's certainly not. You need to have your own opinions and do your own research. But most of the stuff that's out there on Nano Dimensions right now is derived from traders or stock pumpers and not long-term investors who really want to understand what the company is offering. So Nano Dimension is known for a product uh, called its 3D. It's a, it's called the Dragonfly 3D printer, and it's a multi-material inkjet system that can print 3D print electronics. And this is a really big deal, uh, especially when it comes to, to prototyping. The Dragonfly uses two print heads uh, with micro nozzles and like and, and jet ink onto a building plate, and with the help of Nano Dimensions proprietary uh, conductive ink and a UV, UV curable dielectric insulation ink, the Dragonfly Pro builds the electronic component layer by layer. The printer jets conductive and insulation material at the same time and manufactures the whole component in a single step. Other than that single product and the few patents that they have on here, there's not a ton of information about their business strategy other than selling these Dragonfly printers. But why is ARK Invest and a couple of other people really, really interested in this product? Well, it all goes back to the design and prototyping. And it's a really, really big deal, especially for defense contractors around the world. And we all know in the United States, there's hundreds of billions of dollars uh, being spent on defense contractors every year. One of the main things that it does is it reduces the number of eyes on a product before it goes out to a manufacturer who's going to produce a, you know, a, a circuit board or, or something like that for you. Now, I don't know how fast this printer is. It may not be able to produce the amount of chips that you need to, to make a product en masse or, you know, uh, in, in great quantities. So it may be that you're using this product to prototype, produce a few of these chips, see if it works, work out some bugs, once you have everything done and the schematics all completed, you sell it off to a manufacturer who does it in the traditional way, uh, which can be done uh, very, very cheaply. So uh, now these machines aren't actually that expensive either. And uh, I think that you know there are a lot of companies out there, a lot of engineers or people that want to develop a company who are going to be able to afford to purchase one of these machines outright. They cost anywhere from $100,000 to $250,000. It's well within the range of many, many startup companies. But one of the big things that it does, remember what I said, it reduces the number of eyes on a product. It reduces the danger of IP being stolen. It is not an exaggeration, and it's not um, it's not a conspiracy theory to say that when you send off your design schematics somewhere else to be produced, that those designs are stolen, and a lot of it happens in a certain country where many of our chips are being made. Uh, anyway, so this is basically what I'm looking at right now is the future of this product for defense contractors here in the US and throughout the Western world. I think it's gonna be used in a lot of other places, and I think really that this 
product or this technology might have a hand in stimulating the growth in the design and prototyping industry right here in the United States for some very, very smart people who would like to design chips, would like to start their own companies, but are having a little bit of trouble navigating the manufacturing end of starting a new business. Anyway, there's a lot more research to be done on this company. Like I said, there wasn't a ton of really great information out there on what their sales looks like, uh, what their sales look like, what their strategy going forward looks like, what all of the applications for the technology are. And I'll be doing more research as time goes on. This video will actually probably end up being a part one of a several part video series on nano dimensions as I learn more and I find out more information. If you guys have any information that you think I need to know about this stock or this company, please leave links to articles in the comments below or you can email me. All that information is on the end screen. Thank you very much. These are just my thoughts, guys. You do need to do your own research. Don't take any of this as instructions to buy, sell, or hold any security. Have a nice day. Tell me how wrong I am in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.